Welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to bring a, uh, how to create your own skybox inside of Unity. So let's say you've created uh, a big sky or terrain object and you want to just bake it as a background skybox inside of Cinema 4D um, and then export it to Unity. Now that can be a little bit uh, not so straightforward, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've set up a scene here using uh, what is my Dem Earth plugin, and this is just some terrain, I believe, in California. Now, there's another tutorial I have on my channel about Dem Earth and how to create height map terrain. I suggest you check that out if you're curious, but uh, it's a great plugin. Um, so I brought that in along with the physical sky. Just going to give it some good lighting. Um, there's not a ton of detail here but uh, it's good enough uh, for a tutorial. And then I've created a camera, okay? My camera is pointed straight forward. And I've zeroed out any rotation, anything like that. If you want to adjust the height, you can, but make sure that your rotation, everything here is at zero. Um, and you'll see why later. Uh, so looking here at the object properties, um, the most important thing here is making sure that our field of view, horizontal and vertical, are at 90. Now, if for some reason you're not able to do that, like this one says 90 and this one says 74, you got to make sure that your preset, your image, is a complete square. And I would use increments of 512. So I'd go from 512, 1024, 2048. You don't need to go much farther as far as resolution goes above 2048, but uh, if you're trying to make a really cool sharp VR you know, animated tour, you might want to go that high. Um, and then we are going to save this as just JPEG. And we'll create a new folder called New Tutorial. All right. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this First Image My Front. Okay. So the image is the image we're about to render. And inside the camera view, if I have all my settings at 90-90, flat horizon, I'm ready to... Okay, now we're good. And we are going to render. So there's our first image. We have the sky, the horizon there. We are zoomed in a little bit. Um, so it looks something like that. All right. Now we're going to set up the next image. So we're going to get out of the camera hit R on our keyboard or rotation. We want to go full 90 to the left. So hold down shift. Once you're at 90, we're going to go in and we're going to change this image to left. Back, jump back into the camera view. Render. Perfect. Jumping out of the camera view again. We're going to go 90 more. This is going to be the back image. So we'll call this back. Let's jump back into the camera and let's render. Beauty. And we obviously need a bright image. So it's we're 90 more away from home. Jump back in. Let's give her a render. Cool. Now we just need our top and bottom. So let's go 90 back to home. And now we're going to tilt 90 up. We're going to call it top. We are going to render and get a couple of stars up there, it looks like. And we're going to jump out of that. We're going to go 180 down. Bottom. Render. Oops. And I sometimes forget to do this. Jump back into the camera view. Now make your render. And this is the one that's not going to show great resolution, but it's perfect for a tutorial. So you've just baked an entire skybox. 
But Unity is not going to be extremely helpful bringing that in. So here we are in Unity, a totally new project. And what we're going to need to do is first we're going to import Actually, what's easier is to just bring up a finder window, find new tutorial, and we're just going to drag this in to our assets. Okay, and that brings in all of our images. But we're not done. So what we need to do here is we're going to create a material. We're going to call this sky map. You can call that whatever you want. And inside here, we need to go to Skybox, six-sided. And now we are just going to do our, our pairing here. And pretty quickly, this should tell us if things are looking good or not. Uh, let's see, back is the back, and top is up. Now I can just tell right away that we've got some image with some border problems and that's just simply because sometimes left and right need to be switched. So I'm going to put right where left is and left where right is. And what do you know? We've got a pretty sweet looking sky map. Okay. So all we have to do now is drag it in and here we go. We've got a full sky map background of the train that we just created okay so it's as simple as that now the last trick is to make sure that let's see there is a trick because you notice these lines right here um, we need to get rid of those okay so I figured it out here so all you need to do is as you can see all my lines are gone all you have to do is in each individual image, make sure that the wrap mode is changed from repeat to clamp. And you're just gonna apply that and go one by one. And once you've done that, you have a totally finished sky map that is ready to be turned into virtual reality or however you wanna use this as your sky map or your background. So, hope that tutorial was helpful. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials like this. Thanks.